Okay, it says to solve the system of equations by graphing. So we want to graph x minus 2y is equal to 10 and x plus 2y is equal to a negative 2 on the same rectangular coordinate system. And if they intersect, then the point at which they intersect is the solution to the system of equations. Now how do we go about graphing these equations? Well, since the x and the y are on the left side of the equation and you have a number on the right side, an easy way to graph these would be to find the x and the y intercept. So we're going to do it that way. x minus 2y is equal to 10. We want to find the x-intercept. Now, remember, that's just where the graph crosses the x-axis. So somewhere this graph is going to cross the x-axis. We don't know where it is yet. But wherever it inter intersects the uh, x-axis, one thing we know for sure is the y value is 0 there. So that's why we can find it by letting y equal 0. So if we let y equal 0, we get y or x minus 2 times 0 is equal to 10. So we get x minus 0 is equal to 10, which means x is equal to 10. So now we know this graph crosses the x-axis at 10. Where does it cross the y-axis? Well, we don't know yet. But wherever it crosses the y-axis, one thing we know for sure is the x value 0. So to figure that out, we're going to let x equal 0, plug x equal 0 into this equation. 0 minus 2y is equal to 10. Solve it for y. Well, that, that gives us negative 2y is equal to 10. Divide both sides by a negative 2, we get y is equal to negative 5. So now we know that this graph crosses the x-axis at 10 and the y-axis at a negative 5. All right, we do the same thing with the next equation, which was x plus 2y is equal to a negative 2. So where does it cross the x-axis? Well, we don't know, but we know the y value is going to be 0 there. So plug in y equals 0. x plus 2 times 0 is equal to a negative 2. So that means x is equal to a negative 2. So it crosses at a negative 2. It crosses the x-axis at a negative 2. The y-intercept, where does it cross the y-axis? Well, we find that out by letting x equal 0. So 0 plus 2y is equal to a negative 2. And that means that 2y is equal to a negative 2. So y is equal to negative 1. So what we have is uh, an x-intercept of a negative 2 and a y-intercept of a negative 1 for that second equation. And for the first equation, what we have is x is equal to 10 and y is equal to a negative 5. All right, march over to my math lab and plot those points. Uh, for the first one, we're drawing a straight line. Uh, well, done. Uh, the first one, I think we had x was 10. The x-intercept was 10. And the y-intercept was negative 5. Whoops, I missed that one, so i got to try it again. Uh, Actually, cancel that and try that again. Straight line tool, x intercept was 10, the y intercept was negative 5. The second one, we had an x intercept of negative 2 and a y intercept of negative 1. I'm going to have a really tough time doing negative 1. There it is. You can kind of see it up here when it plots the point. All right, so let me check that one. All right, and it's kind of hard to see where they intersect, so we know we've got the correct graph, told us that. But let's magnify that and see if we can tell where it intersects. That point right there, it looks like we went over 4 and down 3. Over 4 and down 3. All right, so we tell my math lab that that's the solution. So we say that the solution set is, and let's we'll select the ordered pair tool, and 4 and negative 3. And check answer, and we had it. So that's how you graph a system of equations, or solve a system of equations by graphing.